As Max Warren, missionary, says, our first task in approaching another people, another culture, another region, is to take off our shoes, for the place we are approaching is holy, else we may find ourselves treading on people's dreams. More seriously still, we may forget that God was there before our arrival. To Alaska and back. That was a the theme of our Alaskan Tea Party event. Chatfield College holds two hopefully unique library-centered events each year. The reason these events are important is that as a liberal arts college, we give thought and planning to activities that expand our students' world. We do this in the classroom, in the way we interact with our students, and with planned activities such as our teas. Sister Julia Chatfield founded our campus in St. Martin, Ohio in 1845, and from the very first day, the Ursulines of Brown County have been all about teaching the humanities in what was essentially a very challenging environment. That adventuresome spirit is still alive and well in the Ursulines today. Sister Cecilia Huber has spent her life in service. As a young girl, she was educated at what was then the Ursuline Boarding School for Girls and is now Chatfield College. Sister Cecilia later became an Ursuline nun and at the age of 81 still maintains a full schedule of teaching. She is a trained musician. For six years, Sister Cecilia lived and taught among the Yupik people of northern Alaska. We asked her to speak to our students and the greater Finley Market community in urban Cincinnati about her time in Alaska, with absolutely no idea of how greatly this would capture the imagination of the audience. To Alaska and Back in One Hour featured Sister Cecilia's presentation with Yupik artifacts, Yupik music, traditional Yupik clothing, and Yupik food. Chatfield students had the opportunity to taste reindeer meatballs, Eskimo ice cream, and Russian fish pie. One of our students also provided traditional African-American soul food for comparison. But the most important part of the entire experience was the interaction between Sister and her audience. They were so enthusiastic and so energetic that we finally had to cut the question sessions short and schedule a follow-up session. Waka, my name is Stephen. I took a flight with Sister Cecilia to Little Diomede in Alaska. It helped me see a lot of how different but similar we are to people around the world. Sister Cecilia was a brave woman to endure Alaska's harsh conditions. One thing I found interesting is that the Yupiks usually have a yard full of random things and use every bit of it. Yupiks are very spiritual people and when they dance, they express their feelings, whether it be happiness or sorrows. Not many people can say they have had the chance to walk literally on the soil of the Most High. You could look out the windows into two different time zones, Alaska and Russia.
she shared some things with them, like popcorn. I learned you have to be patient when you listen to the you pick people. It has always been a childhood dream of mine to live in Alaska. The experience filled me up and was sufficient for my childhood dream. Alaska is well placed inside me now. What a humble, beautiful, spirit-filled woman Sister Cecilia is. She set her mind to the goal at hand, being there for those orphan children. for participating in this experience, but mostly Sister Cecilia and the Finley Market community for their openness and for sharing their thoughts and feelings. Chaffield College plans to present a similar program modified to mirror the Appalachian culture to our Brown County campus and surrounding community in the spring. <laughs> 